part of the trail here. I've used some of the coarse tailings from the, from the screener over there. Um, there's a pile kind of to the right there. Right there to the right of red. It's mostly rock. But anyway, I've used some of that in here to try to build this, this road up. This is one of our main trails going uh, to the rest of the property. I've been hauling a lot of stuff on it. And um, as you can see, there's quite a few puddles there. So we have some fine, basically quarter to dust stuff. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to haul a little bit of that in. I may just bucket it in since it's so close, put the box blade on. I might put a bucket or two of the some of the quartz or stuff in there first, right in that turn. Get it kind of smoothed down and go over top it with that quarter of the dust. So that's what we're going to be doing today. stuff I had underneath is getting drug out. So if you look here on the box blade, if you, the box blade has two cutting edges. It has one in the front, one in the back. So for what I'm doing, drag it forward, basically picture it as your back blading. I need to adjust my top link out quite a bit. So I'm gonna stop right here and do that. Uh, I do want to drag some material in, but I also want to be able to kind of feather it out the back so that that cutting edge back on that back side right there, that should be basically touching the ground. And uh, I guess for what I'm trying to do right now is the front one, which is, tough, which is tough to see, but it's more like where my finger is there. That one should be more up in the air. So I'm gonna go grab a couple big crescent wrenches and I'm gonna adjust that top link. Okay, so I grabbed my uh, wrenches, but yeah, this would be where a hydraulic top link would be really nice. And this tractor does have the hydraulic remote, so uh, I might have to get one of those. I think it would be pretty slick. All right, well, I adjusted it. Uh, that looks pretty good right there, so I'm gonna give it another shot. better than it was when we started and it'll be a lot smoother for me when I'm hauling loads of stuff in the dump trailer um, hopefully the Sun will dry this out a little bit it's still got a lot of moisture in it but sometimes that makes this stuff compact even better um, but yeah that worked out pretty well I got one more spot 
but I got a hole while I got the box plate on. Uh, I'm gonna take a couple scoops of the dust, quarter of the dust over, and uh, try to fill in that hole real quick. Yeah, so just this hole right here, I got a pretty good jag on the bucket, so I'll just dump that just on this side, and then I will use the box blade and pull it across that puddle. This is the Titan 3106, it's the model number, it's a six foot box blade. Really good uh, implement to have, as you can see it makes leveling things out easy. Having that hydraulic top link would be pretty slick, but have the shanks turned upside down because grading gravel and stuff like this, uh, it's a lot easier. You don't catch on some kind of big clunker underneath and pull it up in. Uh, but anyway, thanks for checking it out.